Hello everybody! Today's topic is Dynamic Earth, the first chapter in physical geology. Uh, I don't know how many of you have thought of geology since you are taking this class, and I don't know how many of you have realized that actually geology is a very, very important science class. Uh, in my opinion, everybody should take a class like that. Um, because if you think about it, just about every aspect of our life is related to geology. If you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning and you see your glasses, your earrings, your jewelry if you're a lady, or your zipper, your um, shoe, anything you have on or anything uh, surrounds you is related to geology. When you go hiking, you look at the beauty of the earth, which all related to geology. You are um, taking a bath. You're in the bathtub, which is made of geology. It's clay. Uh, or it might be metal, but surrounded by clay. Um, everything in your bathroom, the, the toilet, the sink, is all made of um, uh, clay, which is, which is related to geology. So... Geology is a very, very important subject. If you think of all the other stuff we're going to talk about this semester, um, like global warming, you have earthquake, volcanoes, tsunamis, everything you can think of is related to geology. So I have to tell you that you're at the right place at the right time taking geology. So as you know, this year we're going to be uh, focusing on Earth. Earth is a dynamic, very, very complex planet. And it has changed continuously since its formation about 4.6 billion years ago. This is very important that whatever you believe in, whatever your belief system is, that for this class you know that scientists do believe that Earth is about 4.6 billion years old. Uh, the changes which has been occurring on Earth, because it's dynamic, uh, actually made it possible that we see Earth as it is today. Um, and all these are the result of the, the interaction between the different systems, uh, subsystems and cycles, and we're going to learn about them. So ba basically the first question we got to ask ourselves, what is geology? And geology is the science that focusing on the study of Earth, uh, we're going to learn about its composition, structure, the physical properties, the histories, and all the processes which shapes it. Geology has two broad areas. One is the physical geology, and that is actually studying of all the Earth materials, such as rocks, minerals, and uh, all their processes, how they formed, how did they get there, what has happened while it formed, and all that good stuff. And the other part is the historical geology. The historical geology basically uses all the principles which you learn in physical geology and will reconstruct and put together what happened when. So if you're logically thinking, the first class you should take is always physical geology. So if you are in physical geology for the first time and you haven't taken historical, I must say that you're at the right place at the right time. I already said that because I believe that science is really important. Geology as a science is very important. And secondly, you have to take physical geology before you take historical geology. So how does geology affect our everyday life? We already have mentioned that it is very important because of all the natural events we have, uh, we have experienced possibly, m most of us did that anymore. We have hurricanes, which you can kind of experience in Virginia. Might not the, the first um, shock of the hurricane, but definitely we get big rains, torrential rains, sometimes mudslides from it and all that good stuff. You can have earthquakes. A couple of years ago we all experienced earthquakes. You can have volcanoes and tsunamis. And of course, most importantly, the economy and politics are related to geology. If you just think about the oil price, all the metal prices, and how 
everything relate to these prices because our life depends on them. So therefore, when you pay for oil, when it gets more expensive, you think, ah, but in real life, it just depends on the demand what we have for these geological resources. So you can see geology really affects our everyday life. This here is going to be a movie, so just let it run and uh, watch it. It's about how well we're taking care of our world. Most of the time, the bad news is that we don't really do that anymore. So therefore, our solution, which we would try for, is the sustainable development. And the, the movie, the previous movies, actually tells you uh, what is sustainable development and why is it so different. But there is a definition. I kind of want you to know this definition. So um, I'm not going to read it out, but you will and make sure that you kind of know it. You don't have to use exact these words, but you can make up a sentence for yourself uh, about it. And right here, there is another movie I want you to watch. This is about how uh, sustainability can help Earth. So it's very important that you have to start thinking that way.